face. Hello guys, Cola here, and welcome to a game called Game Dev Tycoon. So as far as I know, it's a, uh, it's a game where you start your own company and you make games and develop that as the video game like era develops. So let's go right away and start. So welcome to Game Dev, game dev Back Tycoon. In this business simulation, you can transport it back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your venture, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Alright, let's name it. Quantum Developers? No. Quantum Enterprises. Yeah. No. Sure, Quantum Entertainment. <laughs> oh no. Entertain them. Quantum Entertainment. Then let's call it Quanto Entertainment, sure. And player name is of course Ilcola. Sounds good. And we will be the Um No. There's not that many options. Um well, I've always be that guy. And we will wear. Sure, why not? We'll wear that. Alright. Good. Let's go. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, you can do some help menu to access the help menu. Other features such as saving, loading, and creating the game. Simply press escape to access the main menu. Congratulations, you just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you are the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses has started out this way. Man, words are hard. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to break up the action. We are a supporter. Supporting and set up by the game. Oh, cool. Develop the game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give the game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game chooses. The options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you can unlock it. You will be able to unlock it, uh, new options. So let's call this um, Space Blasters. Wait, hold on. First, let's see what topics we have. Let's see if we can pick a topic. So, let's do... Yeah! Space! Action! Space Blasters! Yes! That's our game name. Platform. Hmm... Do you want to put it on whatever this is? Or the PC, because PC it costs less. But this is. Hmm. We have 70k, so let's just go with the cheaper one right now. So, 2D graphics version 1. Sounds good. So, let's see. So, I guess we're making a game now. So, design and technology there. So, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game generally increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on the areas you think are less important. If you want to, if you want to read a brief, dis brief description of these different areas, please refer to the help menu. All right, I want engine and gameplay to be way higher than story or quest. All right, that should be fine. Good. Game development has now started. While developing a game, you can generate game points. You will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you get, you generate, the better the game will be. So 
from time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you get experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase, and increase development time and cost. Alright, let's see here. So, AI and level design. Good. For sure, that's the sort of uh, what I'd want in this case, the last sort of game. Good. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only do basic sounds, but other options will increase quickly. Quickly, selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This will, this is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change change the type of graphics in the game. Okay. Let's make world design graphics better. Graphics not too, too much, though. Sound is kind of important. There we go, that should be fine. We're getting lots of points, look at that! Finished, okay. The button of the first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash or you can't afford to win. Let's get rid of the bugs. Good. Our development of your games is now finished. You, while developing your games, you gain experience and improve your skills. While development is completed, you will you will be presented with some of the experience game. All right, let's see what we got. So we got 10 and 12 of that, of design technology. That's good. Yeah, look at that. We got lots of experience. Look at that. And we, oh, we got some experience there. All right, let's release our game. And good judgment. We got achievements for creating a good topic and genre, genre topic. Combination. Our game is now complete. We'll be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Alright, let's see. The first reviews for our newly released game, Space Blasters, came in. Oh boy, it's not gonna be high. Not much fun. Oh, come on. Have seen better if one gamer. Oh, come on. It's, it's, it's a good game. You're, you're mean. Yo, you're mean. You're mean. After publishing the game, you can invest a little bit of time to not analyze your creation generated game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. Generate a game report, close this message, and then click on anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alright. Quanto Entertainment, a newcomer in the game industry, just released the first game, Space Blasters. This, the game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Quanto Entertainment will deliver in the future. Look at that, we're getting lots of money. Space Blasters sold 2,676 units in its first week on the market. Now that your game is on sale, you receive income from the game every week. You will see how well you can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Nice. Look at that, we're making lots of money. Our post-release analysis of the Space Blasters is complete and we got the following results. Space and action is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform, genre, match, PC and action is good. Game reports are a way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for every game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Research. Research is important to unlock new options to make better games. You should, you should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your game. Hint, try developing games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Huh. No, I don't want to do that. So, I think we should just start making a new game. Alright, let's see, what are we gonna do this time? Hmm. I think we should do Medieval Dungeon 1. Oh, we can't do that. Um. Adventure then. And let's put it on the PC again. 
so I think that should be fine. Actually, yeah, that should be fine. And let's call it. Let's call it swords and saddles. Like you know, said knights and horses. I don't know. That sounds good. <laughs> Next. Why can't I do that? What, what's wrong? Oh, I didn't. I, I picked adventure. There we go. And 2D graphics, not text based. Alright, let's see what we do with this. We gotta make sure not to spend too much money though. As you see here, we have only $44,900. Let's put that back up. Engine down. That should be fine. Ooh, we got some new music. Cool. Alright, we're getting lots of research points too, and less bugs. Alright, let's see. Dialogue's a little bit up. Level design, way up. Just a little bit. There we go, that should be fine. Alright, let's see how well we do with this one. We're getting lots of research points, so we can maybe get making a game engine soon. Look at that! I think we're not going to do too bad on this one. We'll see. Alright, let's see. World design, graphics or sound? Sound a little bit, graphics up. World design as well though. That should be fine. We're losing money though. Which is not good. Game is off the market. Space Blaster is now off the market. It sold 7,066 units, generating $49,490 in sales. Nice. And let's see how we did. Ooh, we got a new record on design. And we got a lot more XP as well because we did a new topic in combination. Look at that. We're going to level up our level design soon, which is good. Look at that. Alright, let's release our game. Let's research on our... Oh, never mind. Alright, it's not out yet, though. It's coming soon. This one didn't do too bad. Alright, well, we have to wait. The first reviews for a newly released game is Orders and Saddles came in. Oh, it looks higher this time. Five, please. Fun at stages. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, the music stops. Stopped. Five, five, and six. Five. Oh, come on. Six. Yay! Six! That's good. Alright, let's generate a game report again. And then let's see how well we did. Recent market studies suggest that the God of War G64, that's what it's called, is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer lower price, greater, greater availability, abil availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Ports and Saddles was so successful that we now have 25 fans. Awesome. Uh, that's not actually that many, but I, you know, I think it's pretty good. Alright, looks like we're done the research report. Our post-release analysis of Sword and Saddles is complete. We got the following result. Medieval and adventure story combination. World design seems to be very important to this type of game. Alright. Cool. Alright, so we don't quite have 50 research points yet, so let's make another game. Let's do a cyberpunk RPG. And let's call it Cyborgs United. These are some great game titles here. And let's put it on the G64. Sounds good. Let's make a text base. Looks good. And let's make story and quest the highest. Put the gameplay down a bit and put that up. Just a little bit. There we go. It's like a staircase. I make it like going up like that. Alright. Swords and Saddles has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Quanto Entertainment. Nice. 
Alright, let's make AI down, dialogues up. There. That should be fine. And we're getting lots more fans. 70 fans right now. Alright, let's see. Sound, graphics, and world design. Graphics, world design, and sound. There. Alright, we should be good. According to the rumors of the Japanese com company Ninvento, that's planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will do. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. And we are almost done. Come on, come on. And we're good. So let's see how well we did. Alright, so we didn't get a new record on anything, but that's fine. So do we get level up? Oh, we're so close! Darn it, man. Hmm. Oh, yay! We leveled up! Woo! Alright, let's release our game and see how well we do. Swords and Saddles is, all, is all now for the market. It sold 12,035 units, generating $84,284 in sales. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> the first reviews for our newly released game, Cyborgs United, came in. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be possibly high. Oh, come on. You guys are mean. Hey, research. Maybe I didn't do it too well. Maybe I did a bad combination. I don't know. Oh, nope. Apparently not. Not bad, not good. Wow. You guys are so critical of this stuff. Research. Nope, not research. Generate game board. We need to see how well we did. Look at that. We got our car there. We, we have no other house. It's just this. Alright, let's see. So, hi there, I just finished Cyborgs United and I think you have potential. I'm in the contracting business and we can do skills like yours. If you ever showed on cash, just let me know and I'll, be, I'll see if you have some work for you. Jason. Oh, cool. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see all available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Cool. Our post-release analysis of Cyborgs United is complete. We got the following results. Cyberpunk and RPG is a great combination. Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. Platform genre match, it, G64 and RPG, is good. And we have enough to create our own game engine. Let's just do that. And look at that, we're still making plenty of money from that, always though we lost a fan. Today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors that uh, that and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES. It's, not, it's like it's the NES next year. The console features a cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. All right, look at that. Our research is done. You've successfully created research custom game engine. You can, now you can create your own game engines. To get started, close this message and click anywhere to bring up the action menu. Alright, create custom game engine. So, let's call it... Quan... Let's call it... Quanticizer V... DV1. Sure. Yeah! No. Just dang it, man. This is gonna cost a lot. Oh. Let's do it. Now you you are now creating a custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it when you create new games. Look at that, we're doing this so fast. To the Kohler from Patrick and Daniel Club, Greenheart Games. Oh, it's from them. Hi, the Kohler. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon, and we'd like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Oh, you're welcome. 
Game Dev Tycoon is the very first game, and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup, and so hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games like this in the future. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much, and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. Oh, thanks. That's nice. Wow. Well, I'm sure I will have plenty of fun with this. Cyborg Unite is off the market. It sold 6,382 units, generating $44,702 in sales. Look at that, we're making all the monies. Nice. Engine complete. Your new game engine, Quantizer V1, is now complete. Congratulations, your custom game, en game engine is now ready. You should try using it in your next game. Alright, sure. Hmm. I should think we should do contract work first, because we are low on money. Contracts are a useful tool to earn some extra cash when your balance is low, and can also be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Alrighty. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you will have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Alright. Help playtest the game. Help debugging convoluted base program. Oh boy, these are hard. Uh, this one looks good. Let's let's try this one. We should try. I think it's not that big. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, we're so close. Yes. Okay, I think we got this. Yay! Thank you for taking care of this for us. We'll transfer 40k to your account. Jason here, I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work! Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back some time. I think I'm pretty sure, let's see if we can, yeah, we still can, we can do more. 4, 16, or 12, and 8. Hmm. This one has lower penalties, so we should do this one. Come on, you can do it. Okay, we got it. Woo! Yay! Thank you. Today, the new game platform by TES by Ninvento has been released. Alrighty. And I think we should do the last contract anyway, because... We should be fine. Please. Oh, please. Oh, gosh. I hope I didn't make a mistake by doing that. No, I think we got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, that was pretty close, but we did it. Excellent work, we'll transfer 23,000 to your account. Well, that's nice. Now we have plenty of months. Now, let us develop a new game. Let us call it. Actually, before I do anything with that, I wanna research, and I wanna get a new topic. And let us do dungeon. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's see if we- Because I, I think we should do every type of game, because dungeon should be fine. Fun and fine. I want to put a- I want to do a dungeon on the G thing. We I don't know. Don't work. Thing. Alright, let's develop a new game now. And dungeon RPG. On oh, that's expensive. On the, you know what? Maybe we could do it on the PC. Let's do that and game engine quantizer v1. Dungeons, dungeons and ogres. Great title. And that, this is going to be expensive. Actually, let's do text hmm, base. More of that, because that's expensive. I think we should do it. I'm gonna risk it. Risk it. All right. Story and quests and gameplay. I am not not doing the same thing. Please, where you got? Look at that in the top right. We're negative five hundred twenty-four dollars. Dialogue is level design. Let's put AI up a little bit. There you go, that should be good. Ooh boy, please don't go too low. Ah. Uh, 
While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you've turned this option off in the settings. Hints range from plus plus to minus minus indicate how important areas are an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end of that pluses, it means that you have insights for, from a game in the same genre, but that you are not sure yet whether this holds true for this particular general genre and topic. Okay. So let's turn that down, we'll design up and make that like that. Okay. Let's just turn this down way down. We're down. Your bank account's in the red. Thankfully, you have your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k. But if your bank account goes, it balances below 50k, you'll go bankrupt. Oh boy, that's bad. That is very bad and not good. All right, come on. Woo! Yay, we got a new record on both. All right, level up, level up, and level up. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, and that's not leveled up. Level up, and I'm all, I just gained some experience there. <laughs> we leveled up so much. New research available, game tutorials and model sound. All right, let's see how this does, and then that'll be it for this episode of the game that I think. All right, oh, it looks like it's gonna be high. Dungeon RPG is a great combination, star games. Nice experience, reform gamer. Oh, that's nice. Come on. Trill's potential game hero. Okay, that's that's good. Please, eight. Give me an eight. Ah, oh, beautiful. Alright, that's good. That's fine. Alright, well, anyways, guys. I think that's enough for this episode of Game Guys Tycoon. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to be notified of future uploads. And I, of course, I will be continuing the series, so look forward to more of this in the future. But anyway, I'm the core, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hello, guys, the core here, and welcome back once again to the Joy Creation Reborn. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure this time that it is, in fact, called Reborn. So, if you're ready, something.